OK. So what I'm going to do is let's practice finding the domain and range of the function. So if you guys are looking at this, the domain of this function is we obviously know there's no restrictions on this domain, right? Negative infinity to infinity. Would everybody agree with me? OK, now if I'm going to find the range, I need to find the inverse. So just by following my steps, I'll replace f of x with y. Right? Step number two, I now swap the x and the y, which we're going to talk about here in a second. Swap the x and the y. Okay. Now, what is the purpose of that? We're gonna, I'm going to explain that later. Right now, I just want you to just, here's, you know, here's your process. Tying your shoes. Process, right? Just process, and we'll talk more about that. Um, solve for y. So now we're just going to solve for y. So we need to isolate the variable. So add 5 to both sides. x plus 5 equals 1 half y. How do you get rid of a fraction? You multiply by the reciprocal. Make sure when you multiply on both sides, you put that in parentheses. So therefore, that becomes 2x plus 10 equals y. Step number, oh, that was step number three. Step number four, replace y with f of x. And I'm going to flip them around. So that's f inverse of x equals 2x plus 10. Now, if I need to find the domain of this, is there any restrictions on this domain? No. What do I know about the domain of my inverse function is the range of my f of x function, right? So the domain is all real numbers. The function is all real numbers. Now, yeah, or if I ask you what's the, I might, I might you're, you're going to do this for a couple reasons. 